so for today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make the five multiple modded outfits that you see in the thumbnail so remember that you don't have to do the exact same five i'm doing you can add some more if you want or you can just pick whichever one you want to do um it's all up to you i'm just doing the um five that you see in the thumbnail just for this specific video so remember that um with a transfer glitch you do lose all your outfits except for only one so before you start make sure you equip the outfit that you don't want to lose and make sure you set your spawn location to last location also make sure you go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece because we are going to be merging four of the outfits the first one you're not going to have to merge but the other four you're going to have to merge so just go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece and also if you don't have the joggers that you see in the thumbnail don't worry about it because the glitch is going to give you the joggers since we're doing the transfer glitch so the female characters get the jogger from doing the transfer glitch and the males don't so if you don't have the joggers that you see in the thumbnail don't worry about it the glitch is going to give them to you but anyway once you're ready to start the glitch just hit your pause button go to online and go to swap character So once your two characters get loaded inside of here, all you want to do is go over to your second character and underneath your second character it's either going to say edit or delete. If it says delete under your second character, just go ahead and delete your second character and two new characters will walk in and you're going to get the edit option. Once you got the edit option, just go ahead and select it and when your second character is going, you're going to get this alert right here that's going to ask you do you want to make him or her a 120 just go ahead and accept it so this alert right here just accept it when your second character comes in this room right here if it ended up being a male like mine just leave it but if it ended up being a female make sure you change it into a male but once you've made it a male just go ahead and save and continue um make a random name for it and take the picture once you take the picture and it's loading it may or may not play the casino dlc trailer for me it's gonna play it but for some of you guys it may not play it whether it plays it or not it's not going to affect the glitch you're just waiting to get spawned inside your new session So when you get spawned inside your new session, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up your map and check to see if there are any clothing stores in your session. If you see any clothing stores in your session, just make your way over to the nearest one. But if you don't see any clothing stores like me, just go to online and find a new session. And the clothing stores are going to be inside that new session. So if you do see clothing stores, make your way over to the nearest one. And if you don't see any clothing stores, just switch sessions or find a new session. And the clothing stores are going to be inside that new session So right now I'm about to get spawned inside my new session and as you can see the clothing stores are in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and make my way over to the nearest one.
all right so now we're gonna go ahead and make the outfits and like i said they're gonna be in order from what you see in the thumbnail so first you're gonna go to the top section go to t-shirts and buy the swallow v-neck so just come to the top section go to t-shirts and buy the swallow v-neck So this one right here just go ahead and buy it once you buy that you want to go ahead and back out make your way over to the shorts and purchase the purple cargo so just come over here to the pants section go to the shorts and buy the purple cargo so these cargo pants right here just go ahead and buy them once you have that make your way over to the shoes go to smart shoes and buy the gray slip-ons so just come over to the shoes, go to smart shoes and buy the gray slip-ons. And those are going to be towards the bottom. And also real quick, only thing I did back there was take off the sweater that my male character had on so it wouldn't mess up the outfit. So if your male character has a sweater on or anything over the shirt, make sure you um, take it off. So once you got the shoes, now you want to make your way over to the accessories, go to the chains and buy the platinum rope chain. So just come over here to the accessories, go to the chains and buy the platinum rope chain. So this one right here, just go ahead and buy it. Once you got that, just go ahead and come save the outfit. And when you save it, make sure you save it in an empty slot that's on your main character. So if the outfit that you didn't want to lose on your main character was in slot 20, you'll just save this in a different slot. And I'm just going to be saving the outfit by numbers so it makes it a little bit easier for you guys if you're not familiar with the transfer glitch. So when you're done saving your first outfit, you want to make your way back over to the accessories and take off your chain because you don't need the chain for the second outfit so just go back to the accessories and take the chain off your outfit so once you take the chain off your outfit you want to go back to the top section go to leather jackets and buy the beige stealth jacket so just come over to the tops go to leather jackets and buy the beige stealth jacket so this one right here just go ahead and buy it once you bought that you want to make your way over to the pants go to suit pants and buy the classic every or the classic every suit pants however you want to say it so just come over to the pants and go to the suit pants and buy the classic ivory or the classic every suit pants and you're going to find them towards the bottom these ones right here so just go ahead and buy them once you buy them you want to make your way over to the shoes go to the sneakers and purchase the pink plain high tops which are going to be the first ones so just come over to the sneakers and purchase the pink plant high tops once you have them just go ahead and back out make your way over to the accessories go to the gloves and purchase the light woodland tactical gloves which are going to be at number four so just come over here to the um, accessories go to the gloves and purchase the light woodland tactical gloves once you've got that just go ahead and come save the outfit and when you save it we're going to go ahead and save it right underneath of the first outfit. So this is going to be our second outfit that you see in the thumbnail. So once you've got that saved, you're going to go ahead and back out. Make your way over to the top section. Go to the sweaters and buy the blue and cyan cardigan. So just come over here to the top section go to sweaters and buy the blue and cyan cardigan
so these ones right here you're just gonna buy it once you got that make your way over to the um, pant section go to shorts and buy the black heart box of shorts so just come over here to the pant section go to the shorts and buy the black heart box of shorts So these right here, once you got that, you should already have on the pink plain high tops. So just go over to the accessories, go to the gloves and buy the black woolen gloves. So just come over here to the accessories, go to the gloves and buy the black woolen gloves. So these ones right here, once you got that, you just go to back out, open up your interaction menu and you want to go inside your inventory and you want to um, show the standard body armor. So just go to the inventory and show the standard body armor. Once you got that, just go ahead and come save the outfit and this is going to be the third outfit that you see in the thumbnail. So once you got that saved, now we're going to go ahead and make the fourth outfit. So you want to go back to the top section, go to vest and buy the blue pocket watch vest. So just come over to the top section, go to vest and buy the blue, the blue pocket watch vest. So this one right here, once you got that, you want to make your way over to the shorts or we'll go to the pants and then you want to go to the shorts and buy the black leopard boxers. So just come over to the pants section, go to the shorts and buy the black leopard boxers. So these ones right here, black leopard boxers. Once you got that, you want to make your way over to the shoes, go to smart shoes and put on the gray slip ons. And you're gonna find them towards the bottom. So just go to smart shoes and put on the gray slip ons. From here, you wanna go ahead and make your way over to the accessories. Go to the gloves and put on the light woodland tactical gloves. So just come over to the accessories and put on the light woodland tactical gloves. So once you've got the light with land tactical gloves on from here, just go ahead and back out and open up your um, interaction menu, go to your inventory again, go to body armor and you're going to show the standard body armor. So just go to your inventory, go to the body armor and show the standard body armor. Once you got that, just go ahead and come save it and when you save it, save it underneath your third outfit. So this is going to be the fourth outfit that you see in the thumbnail. So once you've got that saved, we're going to go ahead and make our last outfit. So first you want to go to the top section, go to the rolled sleeve t-shirt and buy the gray striped rolled tee. So just come over here to the top section, go to rolled sleeve t-shirts and buy the gray striped rolled tee. And that's going to be the last one. Once you got that, you want to make your way over to the utility vest. So just back out and stay in the top section, go to utility vest and buy the black heavy utility vest so let's come over to the utility vest and buy the black heavy utility vest so this one right here just go ahead and purchase it once you got that you want to go ahead and back out make your way over to the pants section go to the shorts and buy the red leopard boxer shorts so just come over here to the pants section go to the shorts and purchase the red leopard boxer shorts
so these ones right here once you got that you want to make your way over to the shoes go to arena war shoes and buy the tan skull harness boots so just come over to the shoes go to arena war shoes and buy the tan skull harness boots So these ones right here, just go ahead and buy them. Once you buy that, you want to go ahead and make your way over to the accessories. And you should already have the Light Woodland Tactical Gloves on. If you don't got them on, just go ahead and make sure you put on the Light Woodland Tactical Gloves. But you should already um, have, an, have them on as you can see right here. So um, since you already got them on, just go ahead and come save the outfit. And when you save it, make sure you save it underneath of your fourth outfit. And this is going to be our last and final outfit. So once you got all your five outfits, you're just going to go ahead and completely back out open up your interaction menu and you're going to take the easy way out so once you spawn outside just go ahead and hit your pause button go to online and you want to click on creator Once you get loaded inside of here, just click on create a race and then click on land race. Once you get loaded in here, just click on race details. Go ahead and fill out the title and the description. It doesn't have to be anything specific. I just put in random stuff for it. And then go ahead and take the photo, set the maximum players on two, and then set the root type on point to point. Once you've got that, just hit your pause button, open up your map, and you want to warp over to the airport. Once you get to the airport, just hit your back button, either be a circle, click on placement, go ahead and click on place triggers, and just go ahead and place it down, and then click on lobby camera, go ahead and take it, and then back out of that, and then click on checkpoints. Now, it doesn't matter how many checkpoints you place down, as long as you make the race 1.00 miles long, so just go ahead and make the race one mile long. Once you've made it 1.00 miles long, just hit your back button twice, so just hit be a circle twice and it should give you the option to test out the race and you want to go ahead and test it out for some of you it doesn't let you make it up to a mile long so just make it however long it lets you make it so that little red triangle in the bottom right disappears and you want to go ahead and test out your race also So once you finish the race, you're going to get this completed alert. Just go ahead and accept it. Once you load in, just hit your pause button, go to online, and go to choose character. Once you get loaded inside of here, you're going to go over to your male character, and you're going to delete them. So it's very important you delete your male character because you don't want to delete your main, which is your female by accident. Go over to your male, which got the outfit on, and you're going to delete them. So make sure you go over to your second character, and we're going to delete your male. Once you delete your second character, two new characters will walk in. From here, just hit your back button, either be a circle, and it's going to take you inside of single player.
once you get loaded and set up single player just hit your pass button go to online go to play gta online and just go and set up an invite only session so all you're doing in single player is going and set up an invite only session So once you get loaded in online, the first thing you want to do is make sure you save your outfit that you didn't want to lose because it's not going to be saved. And when you save it, I'm going to recommend you save it in slot 20 so it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to merge your other outfits. So just come save your outfit that you didn't want to lose and I'm going to recommend you save it in slot 20. But once you save your outfit, from here the first outfit that we made you shouldn't have to merge it. So just go ahead and select the first outfit. And when you select it, make sure you save it towards the bottom. And I'm not sure if the invisible torso sticks, but if you save it while it's invisible, you can just keep on re-equipping it so it can go invisible whenever you want. So just um, equip the first outfit and then save it towards the bottom. Once you saved the first outfit, now we're going to go ahead and delete it. So make sure you saved it before you delete it. But anyway once you've saved it now we're gonna go ahead and make the second outfit all right so now from here the earphones i'm not sure if they transfer to the second outfit but um if you want to take them off just equip the outfit that you loaded in with and it should take them off but for your um second outfit only thing you're gonna need to buy is the candy motocross racing jersey and also um buy the sneakers that you want to use with the outfit um i use the pink the pink sneakers because you're not going to be able to change your sneakers once you merge outfits so once you buy the candy motocross racing jersey make sure you put on the sneakers that you want with the outfit so right here this is what i'm talking about with the earphones so if you don't want them on your second outfit i'm not sure if they transfer over to your second outfit but just equip the outfit that you loaded in with so it takes them off so if you're still confused only thing we've done so far is buy the candy motocross racing jersey and now we're gonna buy the shoes because like i said you're not gonna be able to change your shoes and also from here don't pay attention to the fact that my character got pink joggers on they don't have anything to do with the glitch at all so let's just pretend that both our characters don't have any pants on or nothing right now so don't um worry about the pink joggers they have nothing to do with the outfit only thing we did was buy the candy motocross racing jersey and the pink sneakers so just go ahead and buy that too or whichever sneakers you want but once you got that just go to um online go to jobs play jobs rockstar created go to versus and you want to start up crooked cops once you start up crooked cops you want to put the settings on the clothing on player owned and you want to invite either a friend or a random if you don't put the clothing on the player owned, the glitch will not work. So make sure you put it on player owned and invite either a friend or a random. So once you get loaded inside of here, just go down to owned outfits and hit right on the D-pad once. So just go down to owned outfits and hit right on the D-pad only one time. So once you get loaded inside the job, all you're going to do is open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, go to your accessories and equip either a rebreather or an earpiece. Once you have that, just go ahead and um, close your interaction menu, 
open up your phone and quit the job from your phone. So once you get loaded inside your online session, all you're going to do is go to ammunition. You're going to go save this outfit and then you're going to delete the second component. So make sure you save your outfit before you delete the component. And the component that we're going to be deleting should be the second one. All right, so I'm going to say it again because I want you guys to mess it up. So when you come inside ammunition make sure you save your outfit first and when you save it make sure you save it towards the bottom also so as you can see i'm just going to name it as number two once i save the outfit i'm going to go back to the top and i'm going to delete the second component so make sure you delete only the second component once you've deleted it you want to um stay right here go to outfits and you want to buy the blue deadline outfit so just go ahead and hit your um, right on the d-pad right here go to the deadline outfits and buy the blue deadline outfit so this one right here the blue deadline outfit once you got that just go to back out hit your pause button go to online go to jobs Play jobs, Rockstar created, go to versus, and you want to start up Crook Cops. When you get inside Crook Cops, make sure you put the clothing on player own or the glitch will not work. And then you want to go ahead and invite either a friend or a random. So make sure you put the clothing on player own or the glitch will not work and invite either your friend or a random. So now when you get inside of here, you're going to go down to own outfits and hit right on the d-pad only once. So just go down to own outfits and hit right on the d-pad only once Once you get loaded inside the mission, all you're going to do is open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, go to your accessories and put on either a rebreather or an earpiece. Once you put that on, just go ahead and open up your phone and quit the job from your phone. Once you get loaded inside your um, online session, just make your way down to ammunition and go save the outfit. When you save the outfit, you can go ahead and delete the third component. All right, so once again, make sure you save your outfit first and when you save it, make sure you save it towards the bottom. So I'm just gonna name this third fit and then after i save it i'm gonna go ahead and delete only the third component like i said i'm only deleting the third component and make sure you save your outfit so when you've got that you want to go ahead and back out you want to go to the biker suits and you want to buy the black biker suit so just look for the biker suit and then you just want to go ahead and buy the black biker suit. So this one right here, 
Once you have that, just go ahead and back out, hit your pause button, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, go to versus, and you're gonna start up crooked cops again. When you start up crooked cops, make sure you put the clothing on player owned and invite a friend or a random. If you don't put the clothing on player owned, that glitch will not work. So make sure you put the clothing on player owned and invite either a friend or a random. So once you get loaded inside of here, you're just gonna go down to owned outfits and hit right on the D-pad only once. So just go down to owned outfits and hit right on the D-pad only once. Once you get loaded inside of here, just go ahead and open up your interaction menu again. Go to your styles, go to your accessories and put on either a rebreather or an earpiece. And then when you're done, you're going to open up your phone and quit the job from your phone. So once you get loaded inside your online session, you're going to have the outfit on. From here, just go down to the ammunition and go save it. Once you save it, this should be your fourth outfit and you can delete the fourth component. So make sure you save your outfit before you delete any component just in case you mess up. And like I said, when you save it, make sure you save it towards the bottom. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and delete our fourth component because we've already saved the outfit. So make sure you save the outfit and then you delete the component. From here, just hit either be a circle. So your back band, hit it only once. You want to go to air racing suits and buy the flow racing suit. So just look for the air racing suits and buy the flow racing suit. So this one right here, just go ahead and buy it. Once you got that, you're going to go ahead and back out, open up your interaction menu. Go to your, uh, <laughs> I mean, hit your pause button, go to jobs, go to play jobs, Rockstar created, go to versus, and you want to start up Crooked Cops. And when you're inside Crooked Cops, make sure you put the clothing on player owned, and you want to invite either a friend or a random. So just set the um, clothing on player owned, and invite either a friend or a random. So once you get loaded instead of here, just go down to owned outfits and hit right on the D-pad only once. And from here, this should be your last outfit. Just go ahead and ready up. So when you get loaded inside of Crooked Cops, just go ahead and open up your interaction menu. Go to your styles, go to your accessories, and put on either a rebreather or an earpiece, whichever one you have. Once you got that, just close up your interaction menu, open up your phone, and quit the job from your phone.
so from here this should be your last outfit and when you load in you should have it on so just go ahead and go save it inside of ammunition and when you save it you can go ahead and delete the component and at the end i'm going to show you guys all the five outfits so you guys make sure that you got the same thing also so um yeah save your component and then you can i mean save the outfit and then you can delete the component so that's going to be it for this video for you guys enjoyed it and stuck through to the end and if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to drop a like on the video share subscribe if you already haven't and don't forget to turn your post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos